Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We did a vlog, so if you like this video, we'll help welcome back tomorrow. I gotta show you this delicious stuff that I was making. It's just making avocado toast right now. We got refried beans, but this is what I really wanted to show you. Look at these cute pumpkin shaped <laughs> pastas. It's the first of October. Look above us. Oh, creepy! You don't want to go on it. I don't want to go on it today. I would, guys, we've been so go go go. I just want to like get in the world showcase and hopefully just enjoy the countries. Uh, benefit of having your friends stay at a resort, you can just milk their last name and knowing their room number <laughs> into getting into parking. parking. So even though they're going to think he's not so scary, they should be there already, right? Um, I haven't I looked at our group Trader text. Sam's. Oh, that's right. They want. I don't think Ben's mom, Ben's mom's not going. Right to the yeah. to the party. So she, they were going to show her Trader Sam's because that's their place. Like they, we yeah. haven't seen it yet in person, but like their basement is a tiki themed area. Yeah. Um, so I think they want to show Ben's mom that and she's going to take Cordelia, Cordelia back here to the resort yeah. and they're going to go to Mickey's Not So Scary. Aren't they lucky? They're super lucky. Yeah. But we are going to see Epcot Forever. Never, never get sick of it. No. One of my favorite places. Sounds one, like a dream. one of my favorite places. I feel like we're like in the middle of the calm before the storm. It seems so serene right now. There's like not a lot of guests. But I think the park will be busy, don't you? I think the park's gonna oh. be crazy. She points at one single leaf that's turning in Florida and says, Fall! <laughs> I'm gonna be in Chicago this weekend and it's gonna be in like the high 50s, low 60s. Ooh. You know, like right now there, it's like You gotta really get hot. sweaters out. I feel like we always like stop vlogging when we park and get into Epcot, but like, how can we not show this? How come I've never seen that was like Iron Man before? No. Holding a weight? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've seen the weight before. I've never realized it was like a metal fist. There it is, starting October 1st, Epcot Forever at 9 p.m. <laughs> Wait, it said, oh, it's 10 p.m. 10 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. Do you know why illuminations will always be better than Epcot Forever? Why? Because Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy were out here yesterday for illuminations. I don't see them today for this little old show. I feel like it's been forever since we like went in the... The countries. Let's do it. This is so cool. It's the Headless Horseman and Mr. Toad. Um, it's from Ichabod and Mr. Toad, so. Well, guess how much? It's not even that bad. $59.99. Did you look? No. Did you look? I was right. Yeah. I'm so good at guessing. I should be on the prices, prices right? right? I'm like really Barney good Stinson? at. Barney Stinson. With who? Like Barney Stinson. Yeah. I thought you were saying like he was the host, but I think it's who is the host of Prices Right? I don't know, but you have to get your dogs and cats spayed and neutered. Um, Sarah just found my number one birthday present for this year. Just a flesh wound, 1975. Put a comment on, down below if you know what that's from. Classic, one of my favorite movies of all time. We're gonna watch it soon. I just decided. Okay. Wow, Canada. Looking extra beautiful right here at Golden Hour. Yeah. Uh, Sarah surprised me and said that we're gonna get a bunch of presents for ourselves in here. Just joking. Christina's looking for a sweatshirt that we're gonna see if we can find. It smells so good. And these are my favorite, but they're not vegan, I don't think. I'll check. Wait, they're not? No. Contains milk. But these, if you're not vegan, eat these right away. They're the best cookie in the entire world. No look on the sweatshirt. Yeah. I pride myself on being a really good lover of Canada, even though I give my Michigandiers a hard time about it. And Sarah taught me about their secondary palette colors. Yeah, color palette. That I had no idea about. I think that was from. It looked like it was from the 90s, so I don't even know if it was like always sold here. Right, but and I don't know if it's gonna get restocked because it's from that New York exhibition. Right. But they didn't have the right size. It's so windy. It feels great out though. Yeah. It's like a little kid boy. 
It's a little kid voice doing the like the, the pre-show. Oh my god. We're gonna we're gonna cool. learn about Epcot past and present. And future. And future. I'm thinking we're about to go skip on over to Spaceship Earth because it's only a five minute wait. Oh really? Yeah. Oh I thought yeah. I just said that. There's some of new merch right there, Epcot Forever merch. Oh yeah. Wow, look at that cool Fancy fancy. Alright, Spaceship Earth time. Oh yes, look at that line. That is a good Spaceship Earth line and Sarah just goes, do you ever think you could just touch Spaceship Earth? I do, every single day. Every day I walk past, I think I could, I think I could touch it. How tall is it? It's probably 15 feet, 17 feet. I don't know how windy it is. I'm so sorry if it's windy. Okay. Peter thinks he's so cool Look because shirt. that mural is right there. I'm famous. I'm part of Epcot. I am Epcot. Wow, you're all Epcot. One of the best attractions in all Walt Disney World. This is like my favorite area too. Yeah. Like, and the moon. That's for sure. Oh yeah. Route 66, baby. The city. Can we get both? Here is our plan. We're gonna go to the bathroom in Morocco, grab some waters, head to America, see how crowded it is, and hopefully find a spot. It doesn't look too bad here, so maybe if we're quick enough, this could be a good backup plan. Yeah. All right, Sugar Ray is getting ready to rock off for the last bit. I just I just ran into Nate, paging Mr. Morrow himself. He's always a great pal. We said we're gonna get some Lazy Moon together soon. Um, now that we're in Winter Park. And uh, Sarah's going to check out if the other side of a Oh, she's right there. So it must mean that this side's looking better. I can't see you. Really? She's dancing. They're playing Blink-82. Yeah. 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 In just a few minutes, the World Showcase will be in the first for color and light as we journey through Epcot's past and leap into its exciting future. Because of lower light levels during the show, we ask that you please watch your step. And kids, take your parents by the hand. Are you nervous? I'm sweaty. <laughs> Four minutes. I'm nervous. I'm not too sweaty. You're nervous? nervous. I'm, like, I'm just excited. It's good music. Like it's gonna be good. The free music's good so far. It's not. A, it does not beat the free music. But it's good Epcot World Showcase music. One minute away. One minute. So the country's.
What do you think? I know. I love this. I did. I did. I really did too, but I want to like not. I want to talk about it somewhere else. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. Right? Oh, it's super weird. Sarah just pointed out how weird it is. Like to it's be leaving Epcot. Weird. There's a new form of transportation. Yeah. So usually it's like. Just, like Guests. Yeah, like super calm, moseying people going to Crescent Lake. Like, no people are booking it to get in the line for the Skyliner. We're gonna find a spot inside the lobby to hang out and rest while these crowds leave because willing to, willing to bet a majority of the, that full parking lot that we parked in is probably gonna be gone in the next 15 to 20 minutes. So it's worth just relaxing. Collect our thoughts. Yes. <laughs> and then we'll and talk all Let all of them go. It. Yeah. All right, we're hanging out at Boardwalk. Mm -hmm. Just for a little bit before the crowd of the parking lot gets cleared out. Cleared out. So let's talk about our favorite parking lot. Hands down, two pieces. Mm -hmm. Number one, Walt. Yeah. You put Walt in anything, and Sarah Burkhart and Peter Burkhart. I'm so. <laughs> So it brought me straight voice. back to it's the same, magic memories of you. It's the same talk from our outro, like when the end screen pops up at the end of, end of the vlog and Walt that's talks it. about Walt Disney World. P C O T. And my dad would quote that, and that's like I don't know, it's so important to us. So like that was really cool. And then secondly was the way that way that. We love, we um, we kind of talked about it, like we were hoping that they would like pay homage to Illuminations because it's a show about Epcot, but Illuminations is like too epic for that show. Like that show is very it's more like laid back and goofy. Like kids, kids singing and the music was a little bit more like because it was about Epcot past and present, so like, it emphasized each of the older future world attractions. Yeah, it just like wasn't like formal. Like it didn't feel like. It rocked your soul. It it's, just it felt like feel good. Yeah, it kind of has a similar thing of like to us, and I know we're biased, but like the difference between wishes and happy ever after is like wishes was a story. It had a beginning, a middle, and an end. Happy ever after doesn't. It's a great story that is a combination of all these things, and that's what this was. This kind of like illuminations was a story, and this is highlighting a bunch of different pieces of Epcot history. It does, yeah. The past, the present, and the future. Um, but those those parts like hit our soul. So what I'm thinking of? What? It was like a montage. Yeah. It was like an Epcot montage. Yeah. And so like Illuminations really wouldn't have fit. So it kind of makes sense if they that they took the more that. playful tapes of nations. So. And then the, the skis. Yeah. On the, on the, the kites and the skis I thought yeah. were the first ones were cool, but I liked the second ones more, where they were the five with the fireworks on them. Yeah, and that was the only bit of new technology. I'm curious to see if the new, like, Harmonious, the, like, actual replacement, will have more technology added to it. Because that was kind of like, I wanted, like, a little bit more. But overall, I'm nervous that Harmonious is going to be too, too not like this. Yeah. Peter Kirby's like, going to like Epcot forever more than Harmonious. And I think Illuminations will always be here. But I think Epcot Forever is going to be here because it's got those bits and pieces of Epcot love and history and Walt. And I'm nervous that Harmonious is going to be like, none of that. I know that, so like it ended with a whole new world, which like makes sense because, well, showcase, it's like, it's not really like, Aladdin isn't the biggest, like, there's no attraction for Aladdin in World Showcase, but like the lyrics make sense to World Showcase. Yeah. But it's very clear that Harmonious is going to be IP. about the movies. Yeah, I'm nervous about that. Yeah. Overall, like, I mean, it was still. We're going to see it probably. It was 14 minutes long, same as Illuminations. Um, the intro and the outro music was fun. At least 20 times again. I think we'll end up seeing this at least 20 times between... I got Dave announced when it's, when, it's, uh, when it's ending, but we'll probably see it at least two to three times a month yeah. between now and next year. It's just... I would just say it's, like, fun, feel good. Yeah. It doesn't leave you the same as Illuminations does, but it's, it doesn't claim to be that either. Yeah. Um, if that Wayla part was in the end... Yeah. That would leave me breath, yeah. breath speechless. I do. I like the kids singing in it. I love kids' art. I love kids. I just love kids. So like, I do like that. And Figma had like three sections. Yeah, he was a big. He was the big star tonight. Yeah. So, so that's the thoughts. Like, 
Like, let, us, let us know what you thought if you watched it here in person. The live streams in the description. If we can find them, yeah. Yeah. Because, um, like, I was filming on the cell phone. Overall, like, I wasn't, I didn't have high expectations. I wasn't expecting Waltz. I loved that. When it opened with Waltz, I was like. That and Wayla. Well, yeah, I wasn't blew expecting me away. Um, Just overall, kind of like, kind of what I thought it was going to be. Like, good, but not really good. Oh, yeah. But, like I said, we're going to see it easily 20 more times. Yeah. Like fireworks, like that. We'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're home. My phone is hooked up. I don't know if you realize, I don't think we touched on it too much today, but we have to vlog on a cell phone again. So I'm importing the files now, which takes forever to transfer from the phone to the computer. It's the first of the month. You know what that means? Monthly message. Today is by. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Guard well your spare moments. They are like uncut diamonds. Discard them and their value will never be known. Improve them and they will become the brightest gems in a useful life. Today's daily message is by Rumi and Rumi says, shine like the whole universe is yours. I like that one a lot. Everybody should do that every single day. So I'm gonna sign off now. Keep my fingers crossed that I'm not up too much later because I need to get up early and run. Um, and we have a continuing busy week and we love you guys Epcot forever thumbs up Illuminations miss you always and uh, tomorrow we're hanging out with the Earhearts it'll be the last last night that Sarah gets to see them because she's going to Chicago Thursday afternoon so it's good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.